Hey guys, in this video I'm going to test out the performance of the Tokina ATX Pro SD11 to 16mm f2.8 IF DX2 lens. That's a mouthful. The only thing I've had before the Tokina is the this one, which is the uh, bog standard 18 to 55mm kit lens. And uh, obviously it's not that good. You could get some decent photos with it. But it's, uh, it's not the same, so I decided to go in for the Tekina. Um, the only thing I have to complain about is that the, um, the Tokina had a slight problem with the uh, focus. Uh, that might not be the problem on all of the lenses, all of the uh, uh, models, but at least on this one I had the problem that uh, even though I set the focus to infinity, uh, it only had the things like 20 meters in front of me in focus and everything beyond that was absolutely blurry. And uh, I am not the only one who has had that problem, so I uh, did a little search on the web and apparently there was a solution to this and uh, I thought, yeah, I could send it back to the manufacturer, but that would take, I don't know, four weeks before I could get it back and that was not an option. So I did the do-it-yourself thing on this and uh, my god, it really worked actually. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to the page where this guy has um, given the instructions how to do this and it really isn't hard. I have never ever uh, disassembled a lens before. You don't really have to disassemble it completely but you have to do some tweaks um, under the uh, rubber rubberizing <laughs> on the focus ring of this thing. Um, but it's absolutely worth it. Everything is working just fine now and uh, uh, it, it was not hard at all. So now I'm really looking forward to set, testing out the performance of this lens. So um, we've had some crappy weather lately, but apparently it's supposed to be quite good today. So I'm really stoked to test this out and I will uh, see how it comes out. Alright guys, so back from editing. Now the first set of images are taken on a pretty bad location actually. There was a lot of light pollution which made it well not that good the second set of images are taken out in the Norwegian wilderness so less light pollution better results now what do I got to say about this lens well 11 millimeters quite wide no fisheye very low distortion and you get a lot of landscape in your photos which is great and it lets in a lot of light so you got a lot of data to work on and you don't have to have too long Exposures, which is great if you don't want star trading. And, well, considering how much you have to pay for another lens with the same or better specifications as this one, well, I would say this uh, purchase is absolutely worth it. So, if you're considering buying one, do not hesitate. It is absolutely great. Just be aware of that little focus issue. Other than that, I would have to say, I approve this.